inside the Soyuz MS-17, which will be the spacecraft in action today, is NASA Flight Engineer Kate Rubens, Soyuz Commander Sergei Rizhikov, and Russian Flight Engineer Sergei Kuzvertskov. They are strapped into their seats in their Sokol launch and entry suits, ready to take a short spin around the station this morning. For the undocking, fly around, and redocking today, Rizhikov will be doing all of the driving. He will manually fly the Soyuz away from the station to a position above the Poisk module for the redocking, which is scheduled for 12.07 p.m. Central Time today. The relocation today will free up the Rosviet port for the docking of another Soyuz vehicle designated the MS-18, which will carry three Expedition 65 crew members to the station next month. NASA's Mark Vandehei and Oleg Navinsky and Pyotr Dubrov of Roscosmos are scheduled to launch to the station Friday, April 9th from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Three, two, one, go. The command is sent. And the command has been issued to initiate the opening of the hooks holding the Soyuz to the Earth-facing Earth side of the Rosviet module. Again, it'll take about 90 seconds for the hooks to open now. The mechanical uh, contact is not illuminated anymore. Copy. Separation. And the Soyuz has undocked. Undocking occurring on time at 11.38 and 30 seconds a.m. Central Time as the International Space Station flew over the Western Pacific. We have reached the range, and the vehicle position has been updated, and the fly around is complete. And at this time, Russian flight controllers are assessing the alignment of the vehicle to the Poisk module docking port before the go is given for final approach and docking. Docking target is in the center. All the crosshairs are aligned. Current range is 33 meters. The vehicle is uh, stable, and uh, I need your go uh, to proceed to a distance of 20 meters from the station at the range rate of 0.2 there is per second. Yes, you are. Go. Range rate set. Arming the command. And the final approach has been initiated by Rizhikov. The Soyuz will close in on the Poisk module at a closure rate of one-tenth of a meter per second. This final approach will take about six minutes.
And this is one more opportunity for station keeping to make sure we have a proper alignment between the Soyuz and Poisk. We're in a period of handovers between satellites at this time, but should be regaining communications here shortly. Send him by for contact. Contact confirmed. Copy, copy. At 20, 12, 35. This is the time. Copy. Congratulations with the successful docking. Uh, RHT and THC control is to neutral. Deactivating the 8 command. Eight command select. Contact confirmed at 12.12 12 p.m. Central Time, 1.12 p.m. Eastern Time as the International Space Station and the Soyuz MS-17 were flying over the South Atlantic, east of Argentina. Send in the command. R-O-D-K. Mode deactivating L2 command is being selected and sent. Copy. Manual attitude mode is deactivated. Copy. D9 command. D9 LED is not illuminated. Copy. Capture time. 20-12-35. That's correct. Section 1 pressure is 148. Particle tank section 2 uh, pressure is 185. Uh, propellant value is 464. Copy. We're now on page 93. Switching to the wide lens. Monitoring, uh, please arm our... Once again, is a successful docking occurring at 12.12 p.m. Central Time, 1.12 p.m. Eastern Time, as the International Space Station and the Soyuz MS-17 were flying over the South Atlantic, east of Argentina.